Understanding Time and Personal Power. Hello, I'm Carol Dean, president of From the Heart Productions, the nonprofit that offers the Roy W. Dean film grants and helps filmmakers make their dreams come true. I see miracles happen every day for filmmakers that we sponsor, and I want you to know how to make a miracle happen in your life. So let's hear what the brilliant British author Stuart Weil says about understanding time for manifesting miracles. Stuart says that within the universal law, there is no time. Things are in a state of gradual evolvement. For example, a tree has no concept of time because its essence is eternal. It responds to the warmth of the sun, but it's not in time, but it is in time with the universal law. And this law can deliver instantly. But if your energy is not all there, it will seem to you as if it's taken a very long time. So you need to learn patience and to keep moving towards your goal. And knowing that your thought forms will manifest. If you're moving towards one particular miracle and another avenue opens up unexpectedly, take it. Because Stewart shared a story of a friend whose goal was to be a filmmaker. And after graduating film school, he couldn't get into the union. And so he took a job as a waiter because a friend of his said, work with me. So he did. And he met an older man, waited on him for months. And then he learned that this was the head of the filmmakers organization in London. And all the time he had been serving this man, he never gave up meditating on his gold. So this man helped him to fulfill his dream of filmmaking. In other words, his miracle had been delivered. So when you move into an energy alignment, you can never tell what will happen. So watch for signs. Use your feelings to help you decide. You'll know if a direction is right, and you'll know it automatically. And Stuart talks about understanding your personal power. So you want to recognize that you have an energy of power around you. To achieve complete success, you have to work constantly on your mind's doubt. You need to remind yourself that you're not your mind and you do not accept energy contrary to your goals. In this way, you establish a pattern of positive affirmation in your life. So write down in your own words nine affirmations that express your belief in yourself and your complete fulfillment in this lifetime. There should be three affirmations for the dawn, three for the day, and three for the night. And before reading your miracle list, read your affirmation slowly. He says, be sure that you feel their power and that they mean something special to you. Uh, so here's a few examples you can build on. Example, I am a powerful, positive individual, and all events in this day are for my highest good. What I am is beautiful, and I pull to me this day only beauty and refreshment. This is a day of balance. What I am is eternal, immortal, universal, and infinite, and I see only beauty and strength every moment of my life. I see only beauty in all the people who are pulled to me, and what I am is infinite. I do not judge the evolution of others. I give thanks for the beauty of this day and may the energy of this night bring rebuilding and renew. So be it. You see, affirmations are like small twigs in a fire and as you rise, you begin to build energy in your day. So use your affirmations to keep that energy going. And the next concept that I want to discuss is Stuart's concept of God as energy. And that's part four.